Each airport has characteristics that can lead pilots to make errors that result in wrong surface operations, runway incursions, or other surface events. This video will enhance your situational awareness during airport operations by increasing your awareness of these challenges. Let's take a look at these issues that you might encounter at the Richmond International Airport from the flight deck. Richmond International is a medium-sized multi-use airport located on the eastern edge of the city of Richmond, Virginia. It has associated class Charlie airspace. Before departing for Richmond International, pilots should review the requirements for operating in this type of airspace. The traffic mix includes the whole spectrum of the aviation community. General, business, air carrier, and air cargo flights can be found at this airport. In addition, the military has a permanent presence on the field and helicopters make up the majority of the military traffic. There are several flight schools located on the field and in the area that utilize the airport for towered airport operations practice. The mix of pilot experience and aircraft capability requires close attention to instructions and clearances. The runway configuration consists of two non-intersecting runways labeled 2, 20, and 1634. While they don't intersect, the approach ends of the runway 16 and 20 are very close together. This proximity has led to several attempts to land on the wrong runway. Pilots are cautioned to ensure that they are lined up on the correct runway as soon as possible. One mitigation strategy might be to load an instrument approach or a GPS waypoint aligned with the runway on which you were landing. If you are unsure of how to accomplish this, refer to the operation manual for the equipment in your aircraft. This can help ensure that you are on the appropriate final. The taxiway system is complex and provides access to services located around the periphery of the airport. All general aviation services are found on the west side. In addition to the approach ends of the runways 16 and 20 being an issue, runway 20 and taxiway uniform have been confused and pilots have attempted to land and depart on the taxiway. The word taxi is painted on the surface to help avoid this situation. Hotspot number one is located at the approach ends of runway 16 and 20. It also encompasses the north end of the taxiway Alpha and taxiway Mike 1. The chart supplement describes the area as wrong surface departure risk. Pilots have become confused due to the proximity of the runways and attempted to take off on the other runway. Close attention to the runway cleared to use and then verifying that you are lined up on the correct runway prior to takeoff roll will help pilots avoid this potentially costly error. A possible contributing factor to this issue would be the co-location of the runway hold short markings. The lines for both runways are found in the same place on Taxiway Alpha and Mike 1. When Richmond International is landing north, this area becomes congested due to aircraft, which is primarily air carriers and cargo, landing runway 34 and rolling to the end and then turning left to cross runway 220. Pilots are reminded that an ATC clearance is required to cross any runway, active or not. This is especially important at Richmond International when taxiing westbound on taxiways Echo, Charlie, and November before crossing runway 220. When landing in the south configuration and depending on traffic load, the tower will sometimes utilize the left traffic pattern for runways 16 and 20. While this may seem odd at first, closer examination will make the reason clearer. If aircraft are making right traffic to runway 20, they will cross the final for runway 16 twice in a normal pattern. If the same aircraft is in the left traffic for runway 20, they will only cross the final for runway 16 once. Close attention to tower instructions for pattern entry and direction will help keep this operation safe and efficient. If you are ever in doubt or unsure of any instruction or clearance, the best answer is to ask the tower. They are there to help you and would rather spend a little more time ensuring complete understanding rather than having an accident or an incident. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Richmond International will help pilots make better decisions and along with the ATC tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope that this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Richmond International Airport. It's always better to know before you go.